a girl from a small town in Illinois become this huge rapper, hip-hop artist? Just how does that happen? Um, pretty randomly, actually. I mean, I grew up obviously listening to hip-hop, but it was never, music was never my passion growing up. It wasn't really a part of even my existence aside from being a listener. And I moved to California for college when I was 18, and that's kind of when everything started to shift. I literally made a song on a dare from a friend and then bought a keyboard and started making beats and started playing on campus and found that music, you know, there was this thing I hadn't known about, but it was a really important part of what I wanted to do and who I wanted to be. Fast forward now, last week you released your new EP, What If It Is. Yes. Just talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so I've been, I've been putting out, uh, you know, I write a lot of music and, and love to put it out in different ways. I had a mixtape called West Ghost that came out uh, this spring. And then I, I wanted something for the summer that was like a little bit more up tempo and this tour was happening. So uh, something to kind of, um, to have on the road and sell. But I think, you know, the title, What If It Is, sort of conveys the, the essence of it, which is that it's, it's sort of not within the boundaries of any one genre. It's sort of always crossing over. And I think that's, that's always been, you know, my style and the way I operate. And, really kind of making music without any any sort of precedent. So it's really like, yeah, what if it is this or that or anything or nothing or everything? Um, but yeah, no, I'm super proud of it. Throughout your career, has there been one specific moment or experience that has stood out above all others? So, you know, I'm, I'm originally from outside Chicago, but my musical home base is San Francisco. And I think for me, a huge moment was my first headline show in the city, you know, because I'd always been like the random opening act. Uh, but my first headline show in the city uh, and just seeing like people besides my friends show up which was or, or random drunk people stumbling in uh, come to that I think it was for me even though it was a tiny victory it was you know I was I was playing at a venue where I go to see artists that I you know think are cool and, and respect so it was it was nice to be among their company what advice would you give to people entering the business or even anyone in general just about following your dreams? You know, I think, I know people say this all the time, but I do think achieving, especially something that's a little bit odd, um, you know, any, any kind of creative thing is usually a little bit, the path is very circuitous. But I think, you know, more than anything, everyone I know who's really succeeded and really doing what they, they want to do, um, They've just persevered. I, I think, honestly, you never know when the opportunity is going to come or when someone's going to care or when one of the five people in the audience is someone who could change your life potentially. Um, and I think if you approach every situation with like a really strong work ethic and a lot of respect for the other people involved, because everybody's probably trying to do something, uh, I think to me that's like the common theme among everybody I know who's really who's really kind of done well and that, that I look up to. Great. Well, thank you so much. We yeah. had a great time talking to you. Oh, thanks for you. having me. Good luck tonight. Thank you.